What is one thing that you recommend people do to be more? So is that the one thing is to open that box and then you don't need to actually be more resilient. The resilience will come, will, will pull you through. Once well, you, you, I like, think you have to, you have to really break down the components of your life to understand what's working and what's not. Right. Because usually we're like in this big, massive ball of things that are going on. And what I like to say is that we kind of look at life like this. And sometimes we notice the periphery out here, but there's this whole big blind spot back here that rarely we ever look at. So we need that help looking at that 360. And one way that I help people in in my office is I created a journal, um, which I have right here, and I can just show you briefly, but it's called a wheel of life. Mm -hmm. And in the journal, it has a wheel in here where you mark on here all the areas of your life. And you say, okay, so in my relationship, where am I on a scale of 10, 1 to 10? In my finances, in my friendships, in my hobbies, in my health, in my spirituality, in my mental health, my emotional health. And you go along and then you draw, you connect all the dots and usually what people see or their life looks like this, right? I've seen some really interesting shapes. I have my patients do this and bring it in. Yeah. And then inside it takes each one of those, like say um, health, and it has a chapter on that. So you go there, it's got all the little thought bubbles like we were taught to do, where in the center is health. And then it's got all these little offshoots. So then you look at and you say, what would make my health a 10? So let's say it's like at a seven, what would make it a 10? And then you start filling in those bubbles. I drink more water, get better sleep, get out in the sunshine, right? And so then the next page is action steps. So if you notice what I'm doing is I'm breaking it down. Yeah. Rather, here's your life. It's broken down into these different areas. Where are you? Oh, now I've identified where I actually am based on my perception, not anyone else's. And now what would make it a 10 comes from me. Oh, well, if I had this, it'd be wonderful. Or if I could experience that, or if I was able to be more rested or whatever it is. It brings in now an action step, and it's the action that causes us, us to move forward. So even if we start making tiny little action steps, now we start feeling better. Our biochemistry changes, the communication between the neurons in the brain and the neurons in the heart start changing, they start connecting, we feel inspired, we feel motivated, and then we want more of it, so we keep doing it. Uh, so how can people get in contact with you or work with you when uh, we have a link and put it down below? Yeah, thank you. Um, I have a, actually a course that's coming out at the beginning of next year, which I'm, it's honestly, John, it's my, um, it's my soul's work. Yeah. So yeah. all the things that I've learned and that I offer to people in my clinical practice, you know, there's only so many people I can work with at one time. And so I kept having this nudge, which I knew came from my higher self that said, you need to put all this into a course. And at first I'm like, oh boy, I don't want to do that. And then though, the people started coming to help me and I was, okay, I can do this. And so all these pieces, it's a 12, 12 module, 12 week course. And it is to walk people from, I know nothing to this is how I can create fulfillment, meaning in my life. And it's walking through this wheel of life journal. It's walking through the inner child work. It's walking through understanding how the subconscious mind works and how 95% of that dictates our life. And all the way through to connecting with that authentic self and being able to walk out there in the world with eyes open. So that's coming out. It's called Unlocked, Master Your Mind and Emotions. And that's coming out after the first of the year. Awesome. And then... I work with people one-on-one. -on -one. Um, oh, and also along with that that course, I'm going to be doing weekly Q&As. So it won't be therapy, but I know when I was delving into courses and books, I wanted to ask someone something and I tried taking it to therapists. And unfortunately, I knew more than they do about a lot of these things. So I didn't get the feedback I needed. And so I want to offer that where people can come to a group, to a hub, so to speak, and to be able to say, hey, help me understand more about this. And then I can share that with them. So 
when that comes out, that will be an ongoing process. And then my uh, website is heydrmj, H-E-Y-D-R-M-J.com.